If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. Look at this. Another promise from God. Then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and I will heal their land. But you want so badly to point the finger at others. Look at what they're doing. They're wrong. But guess who God's pointing the finger at? You. Me. He's looking at us. And he's saying, what are you looking at? Me? Or them? Wow. We want our land to be healed, don't we? I said we want our land to be healed, don't we? I know I do. God makes it clear that if you want to see change in this country, then you need to start here. Right here. If you've been around church long enough, you've heard the the lobby cliche, the church needs revival. Believers love to toss this one out, and yes, it's true. I'm not saying that it's not. The church needs revival, but last I checked, you're a part of the church, which means you need revival. I need need revival we need revival see God driven change starts in a single heart a single heart listen to me I want you to hear this today God can move in the hearts of kings and cupbearers. this is true but he can move in your heart too ask him Ask him to give you a new heart. Ask him to give you a heart like Jesus. Ask him to to break your heart for what breaks his heart. And listen to me, he'll do it. You can lead like Nehemiah. You can love like Jesus. Just seek God first and he'll give you what you need. 